All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. It's uh, great to have you here this hour. Uh, we are going to be practicing our reading and pronunciations as we read through a, uh, a short story okay uh, the short story is in the is in the um, class materials for right now okay I'll uh, I think there we go Hammett uh, Hammett also posted it in the um, in the verbling chat box so go ahead and open that up I'll open it up for myself as well because I haven't done so Okay, and let's see who we have in so far. All right, uh, Carlos, how are you? I, I'm fine, thanks. My connection is working good today? Uh, yes, I can hear you well. Oh, very fine, very nice. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Welcome, welcome back to class. Good to see you. Yeah, you're welcome too. Yeah, how about Hamid? How are you? I'm uh, better when I see you. <laughs> great, great. Good to have you back in class, Hamid. We Thank had a you. we had a great class this morning talking about uh, science and technology, things like that. It was really fun. You guys were able to speak a lot because there was only a, a couple people in class. That was great. And how is my uh, speaking ability, Chet? Uh, you're doing well. You're doing well. Obviously, there's things to uh, practice and improve, and uh, and we'll look at that uh, this hour uh, with your pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, let's go to uh, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Great, uh, Jessica. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. Excellent. Well, welcome. Uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Tarcisio? How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. How about you? Awesome. I'm doing great. Are Are you still on vacation, or have no. you headed back home? <laughs> I'm back to my city. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Unfortunately. <Excellent. laughs> All right. Well, good to have you back in class. Good to see you again. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into things. Uh, go ahead and open up the story. And we'll start off with uh, with Carlos. Okay. And um, since we're we're such a small group this hour, we're going to get a lot of reading done. So this will be great. Okay, uh, Carlos, let me have you read the first two paragraphs, please. Okay, the first two one, no? Uh, yes. Oh my God, what I'm doing? I need to get away from these flames. So well safe. I will myself to the corner of the warehouse and then I wait for the police. All of the students, there are a police in the room and arms dragging me backwards. I heard voice to the smoke at one of the policemen say, there's a kid in here, we need to get him out before the fire take hold. I was on the way to see Dr. Hack Terry as it was my weekly tutor meeting, and we had just been set up personal projects. Worth 50% of the module, the ramp up of his office was so steep, my arms were beginning to age. Luckily, I could see him at the top smiling at me. Independence is overrated. He pushes me up the last bit to his office. Okay, excellent. Okay, good reading. Let's uh, let's take a, take a look at some phrases and words uh, we can practice. Okay, so okay. at the very beginning here, uh, we jumped. You jumped over the word "am." Okay, so we're going to say, "What am I doing?" Try that. What am? What am I doing? Good. One more time. What am I doing? What am I doing? Good, okay. Uh, let's practice the word sudden. Sudden. Good, okay. Now with the with the D, the English D is very similar to the Spanish R, okay? So we're going to hit our, our tongue on the top of our mouth. We're going to say da, da, da. So let me have you try that, Carlos. We're going to say da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, kind of like ere. 
ere. So you don't want your tongue to touch the back of your teeth. Okay, so say the word e, or say say the letter, the Spanish letter, ere, ere. Ede, ede. E, ede, like aire, Buenos Aires. Like we want to say aire. 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 Okay? Aire. So when you, yeah, when you say the R, okay, your, your tongue hits the top of your mouth. The English D is just the same. So when I say aire, aire, okay, and I say sudden, okay, you can hear a d, d sound. Aide, aire, and sudden. Okay, my tongue is hitting the top of my mouth. So that's how we're going to say that. We do not want to use a, 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 a D where our tongue is touching the back of our mouth. Like when we say, donde? Okay, our tongue touches the back of our, our teeth. We want it to hit the top. Okay, so let's try that. We're going to say, aire and sudden, using the same D sound. Try that, please. Aire, D, sudden. Good. Chad? That's it. <laughs> nice job. Very Chad? good. Yes. Can I say, for example, yes. the same way as I say garden, sudden, or you need to uh, say yes, sudden? Yes, you, you can also say that. You can say sudden, sudden, mm -hmm. and garden. You can you can swallow those Ds. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or you can also say sudden. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, either way is fine. Uh -huh. It sounds easier for me. Yes, for some people it is easier. Uh, I have a couple of, uh, of private students that I'm teaching, and it is the hardest thing to say words like mountain and written and sudden. Okay, it's it's a hard thing for them to do. For for others, it's very simple. So if you can do it, that's great. Awesome, very good. Uh, let's check out uh, some other words here, Carlos. Okay. So okay. good job with the D. That's what the English D feels like. Sudden. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a look here, and we're going to practice the word projects. So let's practice that J sound, projects. Projects. Okay, projects, projects. Projects. Okay, very good. Okay, give me a give me an R sound there. So instead of saying pra, okay, we're going to say pr pra projects. Try that. Pra projects. Okay, much better with the R, pro, projects. One more time. Projects. Good, okay, nice. Good job. Okay, Thank let's you. go to, uh, let's go to Hamid. Okay. Uh, Hamid, let me have you read uh, this next paragraph here, please. Okay. Ah, good morning, Paul. We must really stop meeting like this. Today is a great day. You know why? It is assign assignment uh, time. I do like these assignments, don't you? Sourced the man from the boys. He laughed and walked over and sat down in his, his black leather desk chair. I like this poll. It makes me seem like a bond villain. This time was my turn to love, or at least fake love. I did like Dr. Terry, but his jokes were awful. Dr. Terry gestured for me to uh, wheel closer to his desk with a big sweeping arm gestures more akin to a bow than anything else. So this assign assignment uh, I said in the in class this morning, are you okay with it or do you have any problems you'd like to talk through? Okay, good. <clears throat> let's uh, let's practice some words here, okay? So this word, uh, we're going to practice the T, H, and R together. So through, through. Try that, please. Through. Through. Okay, close. All right, so let's let's pronounce a sound here. We're going to pronounce thur. Try that. Through. Thur. Thur. Only the, the, there we go. Thur. One more time. Thur. 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 Good. All right, so let's, let's add the rest of it. Through. 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 Good. Okay. Now shorten it. Through. Through. Good. Nice job. Okay. So uh, the T H R is very difficult. Okay. But memorize how that feels when you say that R sound with the T H. Okay. Um, let's practice the uh, the word with. Okay. Uh, this uh, we are right. 
where did we okay so with uh, are you okay with it so try that please are you okay with it are you okay with it all right let's let's talk about the uh, W sound here I, I have another W word I want to practice so uh, when we have a W uh, we want to start off with an OO sound so instead of saying with and pronouncing a V we want to start off with an OO so we say OO IF OO IF with. Uh -huh. with and we slide with. there you go with go to that TH with with, with. Okay, right now you're pronouncing an F sound, saying whiff. Okay, we want to put our, our tongue between our teeth, just like that. Whiff. Whiff. There you go. Whiff. Whiff. Okay, let's, uh, let's get back to that TH sound, all right? So let's try the word the. Th, the. The. Okay, the. It's really quick. That, that, uh, our, our tongue being between our teeth is really quick. The. The. Okay. And how about with? With. Okay. Much better. Much better with that TH. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the word why. So we say why. I. Why. Why. Okay. Good. Now let's go back to this, um, this uh, phrase here. Okay, are you okay with it? So slow down right before you get to with, all right, and practice that ooh and that th. Are you are you okay with it? Try that. Are you okay with it? Okay, uh, much better with the w. We have a little bit more work to do with the th sound, all right, but we can come back around to that. All right, okay. very good. Nice job, Hamid. Thank you. All right, let's go to my next reader. This is uh, Jessica. All right, Jessica, let me have you read the next two paragraphs, please. Okay. Uh, I look down at my lap at the white sheet of paper precariously, balancing on my yellow social science folder. When I look it up again, Dr. Terry was leaning back in this chair, fingertips pressed together. He reminded me of Sherlock Holmes in a funny way. I looked at him and then said, I think I'm okay for now, but I will let you know if I'm having any problems. I think of doing a stood on how people react with disabled people compared to able bodied people, you know, in shops and stuff. Okay, keep going. I'll read that next paragraph too. Okay, he looked at me for a long while and then said in the normal cheery manner in which he gives all his lectures and seminars. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Go to it, son. As I left, he patted me on the back, holding the door open for me as I wheeled out. I looked back one more time to see him wave cheerily before the spring glowed door shut. This weekly tutor meets were he really beneficial, but sometimes they were a drag when you have nothing productive to do with in them. Okay, very good. Let's uh, take a look at some words here, Jessica. All right, so this word here is pronounced beneficial. Beneficial. Good. One more time, beneficial. Beneficial. Good. Okay. Uh, this word here is loaded. Loaded. Good. One more time. Loaded. Loaded. Okay. So we're going to hit that D one more time. Did. Loaded. Try that. Loaded. Okay. Good. Much better. Uh, let's go to uh, this phrase here. Go to it, son. Go to it, son. Good. One more time. Go to it, son. Go to it, son. Very good. All right. So I have three other uh, ED endings that I want you to take a look at as well. And I'm going to give you a link to one of my videos that uh, that uh, goes over how to pronounce these ED endings. Okay. So okay. first off, we have the word looked. Okay. So if it ends with a K, 
The word is, uh, the ED ending sounds like a T. The word is looked. Try that. Look it. Okay, so instead of uh, saying look it, we go right to a T sound. Look t, looked. Look it. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's try this one here. So let's say the word look. Try that. Look. Good, okay. Now we're going to pronounce a T sound. So we're going to say look t. Look t. Good, okay. So we're going to try it one more time. Look t. Look t. Okay. So let's bring it together a little closer. Look Look. Good. Okay. Let's uh let's bring it right together. Looked. 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 Excellent. Just like that. So that's how we pronounce the the ed ending that sounds like a t at the end. Okay. Let's okay. take a look at uh, another one here. <clears throat> and uh, this one is disabled. Okay. And we're gonna end with a d sound. Disabled. Disabled. Good. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to go to a D sound. Now this D, okay, feels like uh, I know. I know in in Portuguese you have two R's. Okay, you have two different R sounds. One that sounds like a H. Okay, and another one that's a hard R. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we would we would uh, we would pronounce more like a hard R at the end, like a d d d. So we're going to try disabled. Try that with a D, D sound. We don't want our tongue to touch the back of our teeth. Try that. Disabled. Disabled. Okay. Give me a D sound there. Disabled. Disabled. Okay. Getting closer. Getting closer. Okay. So the link that I'm going to give you is uh, to one of my ED, uh, ED endings classes. Okay. And it, uh, it explains how to pronounce... Uh, how to pronounce the uh, the uh, the D and the T, okay? And then when we pronounce a D, when we pronounce a T, and when we pronounce an ID sound, okay? All right, very good work, okay, Jessica. Thank you. <clears throat> sure. Let's go to Luis. Hi. Hi there. How you? are you doing? Great. And you? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Wonderful. Oh. I'm doing good. So, Luis, let, let me have you read from where it says, so I was off, okay, and then down to where it ends with Richard Greer films, or Richard Gear, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, I was off for the day. I was having sush and, and age, age time as I am only 20 hours contact time and week and the rest of the day was meaning. I decided to head down to next and surprisingly lose it who had finished finished her wasting uh, chief Hurley and I now uh, that next was her favorite closing shop um, has I approved this the shop the building love allow my like and get uh, my nice morning monter I sound the low fiber of a uh, low standing by the in and trace of the shop she apparently has been expanding this uh, rest Rendezvous. Uh, rendezvous. Sorry. Uh, basic. I tried it. My girlfriend is fishing. We have been going out since school and was 
to say the last every form of her when she called she of of my she said you pointing her find her to me and returned the greeting we wait we always uh, greeting each other in the way has she been down to give me a kiss she is moody but her shoulder uh, sorry uh, shoulder len blonder here you are ready she has me uh, yes not too bad uh, I need uh, read more no I can Sorry. have you stop just right there that'll be fine uh, very good so <clears throat> let's go oh. over some uh, some uh, basic uh, some basic concepts uh, of uh, pronunciation okay okay so for example uh, when we have a, a word that starts with a Y Okay, when I have when when there's a word that starts with a a y, okay, we want to we want to think of an e sound. So, for example, when you read this word, uh, you said j, okay, and added a a, a j sound on that on that y. So instead of uh, thinking of that as a y, I want you to think of that as an e sound. So instead of saying j, we'll say e a. Try that e a. E a. Good. Okay. It works the same with words like yes. So instead of saying yes, we say yes. Try that. Yes. Great. Okay. So uh, when you're when you're reading, especially in English, all right. Well, first off, um, uh, Luis, where are you from? Uh, uh, you you ask me the question. Yes. Uh, what country are from, you from? Okay. I'm from I am from to Venezuela. From from Venezuela, okay, good. Yes. So um, yes, many uh, many Spanish speakers uh, have have uh, trouble with that at first. So when they see they see a, a, a Y, they go Yo Yo me llamo, okay, and it's it's easy for that to come out, right? So when you see yeah. a Y in English, I don't want you to think of a Y, all right? I want you to think of an E sound, E S, E U, E your. Okay, and if you start off with an E, the rest of the word will be perfect. Okay, years. Okay, okay? so years. do not think of a Y sound. Start off with an E. Okay, an E sound, right? Okay, let's yes. uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, another um, another sound. Okay, um, we're gonna look at the G. So the word we had here. Sorry, the word is finger. All right. Now this G is is the same as in Spanish. Okay. Even if there is an E after it, we still pronounce that like a G. Okay. It does not become a K sound. Okay. So the word is finger. Finger. Try that. Finger. Good. Good. One more time. Finger. Finger. Excellent. All right. Let's try the. Let's try the word giant. G. Giant. Now this G has a J sound, and you'll feel a vibration right here. G, 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 giant. Try that. Giant. Okay. It's a the feeling right back here. G, giant. 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 All right. So let me, let me explain it. Okay. So I want you to say an E for me. So we're going to say E, e and feel your throat right here. E. 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 Okay. You feel that vibration. Okay, e. that vibration is what you want to have when you pronounce the J. Okay, and you're going to close your mouth just a little bit more. Okay, and your tongue is is pressed against your teeth. Okay, here we say G, 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 giant. G, giant, 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 giant. Okay, now say that J really quick. Giant, giant, giant. that's it. G okay. Giant, okay, and it's a it's the punch sound. We punch into our throat. Watch here, G G giant, yeah, giant, giant, giant. Okay, that's how we pronounce the J sound. That works the same. 
jump. Okay, it comes from back here, but our our, our mouth is closed and our and our tongue is to the side. Giant. Okay. Giant. Okay. Good. Giant. All right. So. Thanks. So yes, very very good with that, and we'll we'll work on some more sounds as uh, as uh, time goes on. Okay. So uh, focus on those sounds. All right, and then we'll move on to some others. Okay. Nice job. Very Thanks. good. All right, let's go to Mario. Hi. Hello. How are you doing, Mario? Yes, I'm doing great. Yes. Good. Let me have you start here where it says, I thought. And I'll have you read down to um, uh, right here where it says, table. Okay, so a few lines down, okay? Okay. I thought you had film society tonight. I do. I admit it, but Jim is choosing uh, the film, and he he always wants Richard Gere films, and you know how much I love Richard Gere films. Yes, s s such a talented actor. I know so many expressions. I replied, "You lucky boy." I've got his box set to your birthday. She smiled down at me. I smirked and said, if you do that, I'll be forced to get Miranda for your birthday. Richard Gere and Miranda Hart, what couple, she replied. They can stare blank into the camera forever. We both started laughing, then Louise said, Come on, let's go. Where are, where are we going? I asked. I've got a big tonight at the pub. I thought you could be my cheerleader. Pump pumps at the ready, I said. I laughed and thought how lucky I was to have her in my life, remembering how talented a singer, songwriter she was. We headed towards our local cafe named Tom's Dinner after the Cezanne Vega song and went inside to find the table. Okay, good. Just till there. Nice job. Um, very good pronunciations here. Um, here on, on, this, on this word, yes, it is a name, uh, but it's pronounced Suzanne. Okay, this is okay. Uh, okay, in French we say Suzanne. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's the it's the same, Suzanne. Okay. Now uh, the difference would be is if you saw, uh, if you saw the name like this. Okay, if you saw the name like that, that would be Susan. Okay. But when you have a, a the ending with Anne, okay, we put the emphasis on Anne. So Suzanne. Uh, the other way is Susan. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this here, you had pronounced uh, um, dinner, okay? This is actually diner. When there's one N, that is a long I sound, and that is a place that you eat at. It's like a restaurant. Okay. So when it is dated to, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so diner, at Tom's Diner, diner. Tom's okay? Diner. Um, much better job with your, with your H's at the beginning of words that start with vowels. Okay, uh, I only heard I only heard one here. We had other words like our and things like that where you could have added an H there, but mm -hmm. I did not hear it. Okay, the only time that I did hear it was on this word here, asked. You had said, um, where are we going? I asked. Okay. Okay, you added a small H. The other words, I did not hear an H. Okay, you, you had improved there. Nice job. So let's try that. So where are we going? I asked. Where are we going? I asked. Good, nice job. Okay, so keep uh, keep focusing on that uh, a little bit. Okay, your ed mm. endings are sounding really good. Your th sounds, things like that. Okay, really good job. Nice job, Mario. Thank you, thank you, Chad. Thank okay. you. Thanks Let's for you. Let's go to uh, Mo. Sure, no problem. Let's go to Mo. Now, is it mode? Or yes. No, no, Mohammed. Is it Mohammed or Mohammed? Okay, I, Mohammed. I figured it was uh, it was short for it. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> yes. Great. So Mohammed, let's uh, let's uh, 
Uh, let's have you continue reading, okay? So we are here where it says table. Uh, let me have you finish off the rest of this paragraph, and I'll have you read uh, down to where it says reports, okay? Mohammed, are you there? Yes, hello. Mohammed? Yes. Uh, go ahead and, and read where it says uh, Luis. So right after uh, to find a table. So Luis ordered, and then I'll have you read down to where it says reports, okay? Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Luis ordered the uh, coffee uh, while I remained on table uh, guardian, uh, guarding, guarding duty. Uh, when the drinks came, uh, mine was black and Lucy's as usual. Uh, had milk in. We made small talk, uh, but uh, I was eager to talk to her about my assignment. So I got I got out uh, the yellow folder and uh, fled to fled to the familiar uh, white sheet of paper. Uh, I got given this assignment today and was. Uh, thinking of uh, doing it uh, on social uh, inter uh, inter uh, actions uh, with uh, with a chair on people uh, as I was saying this uh, I slide over the sheet uh, which was plank uh, expect for the typed uh, introduction uh, dr. Teddy uh, Terry sorry uh, gave us and my screw scroll uh, I was thinking uh, it would be uh, best to uh, tackle uh, it in three bytes uh, start of small in shops then move on to bars uh, and the like uh, then out uh, uh, about in public uh, places Oh, uh, this sounds interesting. You could uh, argue that uh, you are helping the public see their flows. Uh, a public uh, service, if you will. So uh, would you send yourself and uh, someone else in and compare notes? Uh, or would you questionnaire it? Uh, it was thinking if you I went it first hand it would it, it would give a more personalized uh, outcome uh, you know uh, how Terry uh, always like the uh, emotional side uh, of reports good okay um, very good now your ED endings are fabulous um, and uh, a little bit of work on your R's okay so uh, let's yes. take a look at the name Terry okay you're, you're very close and, and your tongue uh, sort of hits the top of your mouth you're not rolling it you're not saying Terry okay you're not Terry. rolling it but you're but we want to get more of an er sound there so let's say tear Terry Terry okay Terry 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 Okay, good. Yeah, so you don't want your your uh, tongue to hit the top of your mouth. Okay, let's try reports. Reports. Good. That's it. Okay, another one. R. Argue. Argue. Good. One more time. Argue. Argue. Good. Okay, one last one. Scr. Scrawl. 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 Good, nice job. Okay, nice. All right, let's. Uh, I want to take a look at um, your th sounds. Okay? okay. So when we have the word the, uh, for example, okay, uh, to the familiar white sheet. Okay. So let's practice uh, pronouncing that th instead of saying the. To the. Okay. So let's try that. To the familiar white sheet. To the familiar white sheet. Great, nice. Okay, let's uh, let's try another one. Um, starting with starting right here, then move on to bars and the like, then out and about. Okay, try that, please. Uh, then move on to bars and the like, then out uh, and about. Good, much better. Okay, so you 
definitely can pronounce those th sounds all right it just okay. takes a little bit of focus on those um, and it wasn't every time okay it wasn't every time where you would say z okay or zen just every once in a while it every once in a while it would pop out okay so focus on that as you're reading and make sure to pronounce those th sounds as well as giving a good er sound when you see those r's okay okay all right very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, let's go to Nihan. How are you doing, Nihan? Thanks, Jeff. I'm doing great. Excellent. Good to see you here. Um, let's uh, let's have you uh, continue reading right here where it says maybe, and I'll have you uh, read down to the bottom of this next paragraph. Okay. To the evening. Okay. Yes. Maybe I can be involved. You know, I like Darren Brown. We could start with next. Uh, we will we'll have to meet up over the weekend. God, today is Friday. I've totally lost track of the days, I said. I said that would be very helpful. Let's do it. It'll ride up the sheets tonight. I dropped Louise off at her house early in the afternoon and the pub was packed by the time I got there a little after seven. The support act had just started playing as I took my seat next to Stuart. We exchanged a quick hello and settled back to watch. I cannot remember much about the support, about the support act. Expect that the lead singer was very energetic Energi energetic and jumped up and down periodically during the songs. The support act finished at 8.30 and then the whole room began to muter with expectations. Louis took the stage to rapturous applause and was brilliant. She regularly played at this pub and so the audience knew what to expect and had never favorites line up to request. She never performed, performed covers, only her own songs. When it came time to go, I walked Louise back to her house and we whiled away the rest of the evening. Good, nice job. Uh, let's take a look at some words here we can practice, okay? Uh, this word here is brilliant. 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 Good, nice job. Okay, this word here has a short U sound. The word is mutter or mutter. <coughs> mutter. Good, nice job. Um, now, let's practice uh, your TH sound with 830. 830. Okay, 8. 30. 8.30. Okay, good. Let's practice that, uh, that THR. Okay, it's a difficult sound to, so we're going to practice thur. Thur. Good, so thirty. Thirty. Excellent, really good, Nihan. So we're going to say 8.30. 8.30. Great, that was awesome. Nice job. Okay. Let's uh, let's see here. Um, the word energetic. Okay, right here. Energetic. Energetic. Good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, this word here is accept. Accept. Excellent. And one more. We have exchanged. Okay. Make sure to pronounce that ed ending. Exchanged. Exchanged. Good. Nice job. Very good pronunciations. Chad, Excellent job. Uh, yes. I, I couldn't read properly the rapturous uh, applause or what? Yeah, that was perfect. Rapturous. Rapturous, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, just like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, let's uh, go to my next reader. This is uh, Tarcisio. Yes. All right, um, Tarcisio, let me have you read. Um, uh, this uh, this chunk here. So when I woke, down to uh, off to the next. Okay. Okay. When I woke on Saturday, Louise was already up. I went into the kitchen and found her already looking at the sheets of paper I had printed up the night before. She looked up cheerfully as I entered. 
Her red-rimmed glasses had been replaced by the contacts she sometimes wore. That is a good look for you, I said. It really brings out the blue, blue, blue of your eyes. You charmer, Louise said. I know, do not tell everyone. We laughed and she said, I really like the project. I think it will be interesting to see what happens. Then we discussed our plans of a, our plan of attack. The first shop we were going to hit was next, then Tesco, and finally two. We would enter each shop separ separately. Louise would be first in, and then once she had it, it exited, ex I don't know how to say this word. It would be exited. Exited. I would enter. After I had left, we would go in together, and we would note down the difference in time it would take the assistant to serve us in each case. Obviously, we would note the business of both the shops and the sale assistants and the manner in which they served us as well. Louise, enthusiastic person that she was, agreed that this was a brilliant way of doing it and as it would make the project more personal to me rather than doing a ton of research. Once it was agreed what we were doing, we were off to next. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, let's take a look here at some words we can practice. Now, uh, when you pronounce the word uh, difference, you had used an E sound saying difference. Okay, oh, remember short different. I. There you go. Okay, uh, let's go back to this word again. So the word is exited. So the accent goes at the very beginning. Exited. Exited. Good. One more time. Exited. Exited. Excellent. Okay, uh, last word. Separately. Ex accent at the very beginning. Separately. Mm -hmm. Separately. Yeah, very good. So uh, with these words, just minor, minor things. Everything else sounded really good. Uh, nice job with your, your ED endings, your R sounds, your L sounds, okay? Uh, your W sounds were all really good, okay? Uh, okay. The one thing that I would, uh, I would point out, okay, um, project. In the United States, we say pra. Okay, in England they would say pro. So I'm not pointing I'm not pointing it out to correct it. I'm just stating that there is a difference. So if you watch uh, TV or if you visit the states or whatever, and you hear someone say project, okay, it's the same word. Mm -hmm. Project. Okay. Project. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent reading, Tarcisio. Thank you so much. Very good. Let's uh, let's go to uh, Yusuf. How are you doing, Yusuf? Yes, hello, Chad. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Great. Let me have you uh, read this next, uh, the next two paragraphs here and um, this one down to shopping, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, Louis headed toward the shop and I waited, and I waited heading out of sight. Least of the, least, least uh, the staff suspected something. It was agreed on the uh, it was agreed on the walk over that Louise would pick up out a red dress and see how long it would take any of the members of his staff to come up and ask her whether she would like to try it on. Louise went uh, Louise went into next a few minutes later. She uh, she uh, reappeared. I looked at my uh, watch and noted and noted down the time. Then I then I went then I went in and we took over my hidden place almost immediately. A portly shop assistant post posted over. Can I help you? Can I help you, sir? Yes, I was waiting to try uh, to try on this. I picked up the first thing that my eyes alighted, alighted upon, which was a green uh, cardigan uh, with silver button on. Yes, right. This uh, yes, right this way. The changing room are are bit crammed, crammed, right? 
cramped. Cramped. Uh, I'm afraid. Will you be able to? Uh, will you be able to fit? Will you be? A will you be alright in in there? She said, pointing at my, uh, pointing at my chair. I uh, I assured. I, I assured her that it would be fine and we went uh, the rest of the way in, uh, in, a, in, in silence she was uh, very nice she even offered to push me uh, which I declined I emerged from the shop to find Luis uh, looking at me with confused uh, expression I didn't think we were supposed to buy the uh, merchant, I don't know how to say that. merchandise. Mer merchandise. She said, "I know. I just couldn't help it. This uh, this looked so good on me. Think uh, think of it as a, a social experiment in shopping." Okay, <clears throat> very good. Let's uh, take a look at some words here. Okay, nice job. Uh, very nice. Uh, first off, uh, we have the word offered. Okay, so the accent goes at the very beginning, and that O is an AW sound. Offered. Try that, please. Offered. Good, good. Okay, um, let's go to cardigan. Uh, so uh, this word here, cardigan. Cardigan. Good. Okay, and uh, over uh, back to this word here, it is cramped, cramped. Cramped. Excellent, okay. Uh, let's go to wanting. Wanting. Yeah, you had said waiting. Yes, this is wanting, okay. Oh, yeah, sometimes it gets blurry, so you guys. Sure, no problem. All right, let's go to our, our next word. Uh, where did you go? All right, this word is hiding. So it's a long I sound, hi, hiding. Hiding. Good, one more time, hiding. Hiding. Excellent, okay, last word. This word is agreed, agreed. Agreed. Okay, give me a gr sound, a gr, agreed. Okay. <clears throat> agreed. There you go, that's it, nice job. One more time, agreed. Agreed. Perfect. Agreed. Excellent job. Okay. Uh, very good, you guys. Uh, let's see. We have about 10 minutes left. Uh, let's uh, let's go through, and we'll see if we can all uh, do some more reading. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna shorten it up uh, just a little bit because of time, but I, I want to get through everybody. Okay. So let's uh, start back over with Carlos. Yeah. All right, Carlos. Uh, let yeah. me have you read. Uh, let me have you read these next uh, these next few lines right here, please. Okay. In that case, let me go and I buy the red dress. No, we don't have time now. You'll be in there for hours. No, if you come with me, I think I'm going to like this project. As we walk away from Ned heading for Tesco, Luis sighed with a smile. Could you pick me up some ham? Oh and the new Tarantino DVD, which I really want to see. There you go. Good. All right, let's, let's practice these words right here. Instead of could you peek, we're going to say could, could, uh, could, could you pi, pick. Could, Try that. could you pick. Yeah, could you pick. Could you pick. Good. Yes. So remember, uh, on this word, that O U L does not make an O sound. It's an U. Okay. And oh. the L, the L is silent. The L does not make a sound. We don't say okay. could. It is could. All right. Could. Nice. Much better. Great. Let's uh, let's go on. Let's go to Hamid. Yes. Ha Hamid, let me have you read uh, read the, a bit of this paragraph. So I'll have you read down to where it says wine. Okay. Okay. A short uh, while later, we arrived at Tesco. The supermarket was a little busier, and so it took longer for both of us to be served. As usual, Luis went in first. The plan this time was that Luis would go in and ask a question about wine and see how long it would take for the Tesco guy to find that 
particular particular bottle. I consulted myself while Louise went, went in. Five minutes later, she emerged and I entered the supermarket to ask about the wine. Good. Okay, let's uh, practice some ED endings. Okay, so here we're going to say emerged. Emerged. Good. All right. And here, same D ending, concealed. Concealed. Okay, give me that D. Concealed. Concealed. Good. Okay, nice job. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go to Jessica. Hey. Jessica, let me have you uh, uh, finish up this uh, this paragraph here. Um, read through these uh, these lines, and then I'll have you read just a little bit of this next paragraph. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Again, almost immediately, I got a shop assistant's attention. I was taken to the wine alley and had the particular bottle point, pointed out to me. I came out, and Louis said. Did you have Gary? Yes, I did. And the, you asked him about the same bottle of wine, didn't you? Yes, Mom. Right. Where are we going now? I know it's a phone shop, but which one? O2, I think. We arrived at O2. This, this time the plan was for Louise to go in and ask for the new Nokia phone. Then I would go in and do the same thing. Okay, very good. All right, so let's practice some ED endings. First off, this word is arrived. Arrived. Okay, so uh, we won't pronounce an id sound there. Okay, it would only be the D. Arrived. Arrived. Okay, uh, so let's practice that. So we're going to break it up. Okay, we're going to say arrived. Arrived. Good. Okay. Arrived. Arrived. Okay. Very close. Very close. All right. Uh, the next word I want to practice, and I'm going to give you a tip. Okay. The word is asked. Okay. So instead of pronouncing the K, we're going to skip over it. We're going to get it out of there. Okay. And we go straight to a T sound and we say asked. Asked. Good. Just like that. Asked. Asked. Good. Nice job. All right. Thank you very much, Jessica. Uh, let's go thank to Mario. You. Mario, let me have you finish up this paragraph here, starting with finally. Okay. Finally, we both entered the shop together and asked ask for the new HTC to see whether if it made any difference in speed of service. It seems to be exactly the same as the other shops. Louise had to wait. I got served immediately. And when he went in together, we we'll still got served in, uh, immediately. As we were leaving, Louise whispered our result out. Very interesting. Let's go for, for a coffee and I'll show you mine. If you show me yours, uh, we said together. Okay, good, good. Uh, I, I did not hear any H's in front of your vowels, your vowel sounds. Great job. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, let's take a look at two words here. Um, now you are saying immediately. This E here is going to be a long E sound. Immediately. Try that. In, okay, immediately. Good, okay. Now uh, this word here is whispered with the accent at the beginning. Whispered. Whispered. Good, just like that. Nice job. Very good. All right, Thank let's you. go to uh, Mohammed. Yes. Let me have you read this next paragraph, please. Okay. Uh, when we uh, uh, when we sat down to analyze uh, results uh, over coffee, uh, we noted that Lewis uh, had to wait. Uh, a full two minutes longer than I did uh, post disco and uh, O2 although uh, I took longer in Nekest uh, we conclude that this was because I had actually bought the uh, cardi cardigan 
uh, rather than simply trying it on and uh, uh, getting out of the, uh, there as Lewis and and had done. Overall, uh, however, it seemed that this uh, disabled people don't have to wait longer to be served. And Lewis and uh, and I together are uh, a, man, uh, uh, a magnet for these guys. Okay, much better with your th sounds. The only one I heard was right here, almost at the very end. Okay, let's practice that th there. We're going to say together. Together. Good. One more time. Together. Together. Great. Nice job. Very good. Let's go to Nihan. Nihan, let me have you uh, uh, read this small paragraph and uh, a few sentences of this next one here, please. Okay. So I said phase two bars. Where should we go to? I think I want to. I think I want to do a big chain like weather spoons and a smaller chain like tiger tiger and then an individual one like the blues. Once it was decided which pubs we were going to, we left the coffee shop and headed to Weatherspoons. The pub was packed when we got there, and so it was decided for the sake of variety that we, we would attack the Buzil's bar at the same time. With that, Luis and I went in. Okay, good. Let's practice two words here. Uh, this word is variety. Okay, ver, variety. Uh, but, but variety. Yeah, so instead of var, it is ver, variety. Yeah, variety. Okay, uh, this word here is busiest. Busiest. Good, nice job. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's go to Tarsicio. All right, so when at the same time, so uh, starting off with with, and I'll have you go down to uh, the Red Sea, okay? Go ahead. With? Just a minute, Chad, sorry. I'm looking for it. <laughs> um, it's a uh, part of it. To, it says, uh, with that, Luis and I went in, in the corner of the pub, I caught with that okay with that Louise and I went in in the corner of the pub I caught sight of our friends Stuart and Mark so we went over to say hello and tell them that we were both going to the bar to get drinks with that we left them in an attempt to get served and only once did I have to say excuse me to a tall gentleman stood right in front of me. Once this had happened, the rest of the people moved out the way like I was Moses parting the, ra the Red Sea. Okay, we got good. A, okay. Just, just so right there. Yes, and this word is sea. The Red Sea. 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 Yeah, just like uh, um, uh, watching or S-E-E. -E. Okay, it's pronounced mm -hmm. exactly the same. And it's another word for an ocean. A sea. Red sea. Uh -huh. Okay, um, and okay. watch out for your S's here. You had said our friends as Stuart. Okay, so uh, we caught sight of our friends Stuart. Okay, so you can actually combine these two because they both okay. end with an S and start with an S. So uh, let's try this. I caught sight of our friends okay. Stuart and Mark. I caught sight of our friends Stuart and Mark. There you go. Nice job. Okay, great. Uh, last, last one. This is for Yusuf. Yes. All right, Yusuf. Let me have you continue. I'll have you read from uh, "We Got Up to the Bar" down to "Promise Me." Oh, that's too long. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we got uh, we got up at the bar, got our drinks, and we're back. And we're back at the table in what most had been record time. We sat with Mark and Stark for a bit. They were quite surprised that both 
Luis and I were in the t in the pub on a Saturday. When I explained it was for my so social science experiment, they listened into uh, interviewed. When I finished, uh, when I finished outlining the entire project, the conversation turned to Richard Ge uh, Richard Richard Ge films. How did the film? How the how did the film society meeting uh, go last night? Ma Mark said, "Never, uh, never let Jim choose the film again." Promise. Okay. Me. Good. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's check out this word here. The word is intrigued. Intrigued. Good, yes, so let's pronounce that G and then the D sound. Intrigued. Intrigued. Okay, good. Uh, and let's practice the ED here. So, surprised. S uh, surprised. Okay, give me that D at the very end. Surprised. Surprised. Excellent. Okay. Uh, very good job, you guys. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, for uh, coming into class. All right. Uh, it was uh, it was great having you all here. Um, this is my last hour for the day, and I'll be uh, I'll be back tomorrow uh, doing some more reading and pronunciation classes. Okay.